Hi everybody. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I wanted to make a quick one because A, I wanted to show off my new horse sweater. <laughs> this thing is pretty bomb, right? Nay. Um, let me fix my hair, my hair. And B, because I got my septum pierced. Ah! Wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience with that. So I'll go ahead and jump right in. I had been thinking about getting my septum pierced for a while. I was I was just I was undecided as to whether I wanted my nostril pierced or my septum. And I have actually had my nostril pierced before, and I did not have a good experience. Um, I had it pierced when I was 18, and it was just pussy all the time and totally oozy and gross. I, and I remember reading through my journal from back in the day when I had it done. And I spelled pussy, P-U-S-S-Y. <laughs> How do you spell that word, right? Um, anyways, moving on. So I decided after looking at lots of photos online, I even rocked a fake uh, septum ring to just kind of, you know, give me a feel for how I would look with it. And I really liked it. I felt like it really complimented my features. And um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm half Indian. And it's actually a part of Indian culture to have, you know, nose piercings. And when I went to India when I was 18, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful on women, like stunning so much that when I came back to the States, I got my nose pierced. Um, and I think when I was 22, I took my nose piercing out and I was just going to let it heal. <clears throat> and I've just been yearning for a new piercing for quite a while now. So I decided to take the plunge. Just as a little bit of background, I've had my belly button pierced. Again, I've had my nostril pierced. I've had my earlobes pierced. I've had my cartilage on both sides pierced. Um, so I'm not totally new to piercing. I don't have anything crazy or outrageous. <laughs> Um, but I am familiar with the level of pain, the different like scale of pain. And um, I have to say that this one was by far the chillest. And it was the one I was the most scared about. <laughs> um, so basically, I had done some research online and there were different experiences out there. Some people said it was just like an intense like squeeze and pressure and then it was over before you knew it. Um, and then other people had, you know, it was really painful. Um, so I didn't know what to expect. In fact, um, I did a lot of research on Yelp to find the perfect piercer. And I'm in Portland and I came across this place called Soul Body Piercing, I believe is the name. And amazing reviews. And basically the amazing reviews all talked about, I think his name is Hal, how gentle and calming and comforting he was during the piercing process and very thorough. And he explained everything and told you when to inhale and take a deep breath. And I don't know, it was, it was an amazing experience by far best piercing I've ever had. And my experience was that I had hyped it up so much in my brain. Like literally I told the piercer guy, I was like, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. And I brought my hubby there so I could squeeze his hand. And I had to keep reminding myself that I had squeezed two little humans out of my vagina. So this can't be that bad. You know what I mean? I'm definitely not a wuss when it comes to my tolerance of pain. So I think I have a pretty high tolerance. Anyways, um, so again, it was very, thorough and clean and calming and just totally put my mind at ease even though I was still like oh my gosh I'm so scared <laughs> um so it was over very fast basically he does like a trial run with the end of the needle just to make sure that the placement is correct and then he tells you to take a deep breath and then needle goes through and it only took a few seconds. I was afraid it was going to take a few minutes. <laughs> I was so freaked out. And just so you know, they don't actually go through the like cartilage part of the inside of your nose. It's a soft little gushy part underneath. And it's actually a very thin like membrane-y section. Um, and it actually doesn't take as long to heal because it's such a thin area, a thin piece of skin. So anyways, that happened about a week ago. I'm sorry I'm so like washed out. Um, it's actually very flattering, but um, I don't have any lights set up. I'm just in my kitchen. Um, so anyways, it was over quick. It was, wasn't very painful. It was, it was like a tight squeeze and then like a pinch. Um, and then it was over. The most uncomfortable part for me was when they looped through this horseshoe 
piece of jewelry, he had a hard time getting the ball on. So he, he, I think he tried like, I don't know, eight times or something and he kept dropping the ball. It was that part I was like, because mm, I just wanted to like leave. I wanted it to be done, done. Um, so if you're thinking about getting your septum pierced and it's like totally all the rage now, like everybody's doing it, it seems like. Um, it's a really beautiful piercing. It really doesn't hurt that much and it takes a relatively short amount of time to heal. They say six to, six to eight weeks. A heads up, they start you out with this really fug piece of jewelry. I think it's fug. I'm sure some people like it. This horseshoe thing, which isn't the most feminine piece of jewelry, um, but they do this so it heals better. Um, so as soon as my six weeks are up, you better believe I'm going to change the jewelry out. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so that was my experience. I had a really good one. I found a really great place. I have a really awesome piece of jewelry picked out for when it's time to swap out this one. Um, and you'll have to stay tuned for that. Other than that, ta-da! That's my story. <laughs> and again, let me show you this bomb sweater, dude. I was so stoked about this sweater. I got it in the mail the other day from Mod Cloth. It was on sale, 70% off. Um, and I was so excited to show it to my son, Dylan, because it's an animal sweater. And the first thing he said to me was, no, mommy, take it off. <laughs> I don't know if it scared him or what, but it was not a hit with him. I freaking love it. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm really going to try to start turning videos out a little more regularly. So please write down below the types of videos that you'd like to see so I can start working on them. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.